Matthew chapter 19. When Jesus had finished these words, he departed from Galilee and came into the region of Judea beyond the Jordan. And large crowds followed him, and he healed them there. Some Pharisees came to Jesus, testing him and asking, Is it lawful for men to divorce his wife for any reason at all? And he answered and said, Have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife. And the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. They said to him, Why did, then did Moses command to give her a certificate of divorce and send her away? He said to them, because of your hardness of heart, Moses permitted you to divorce your wives. But from the beginning, it has not been this way. And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife except for immorality and marries another woman commits adultery. I switched the versions. Matthew 19 and 19 and i say to you whoever divorces his wife except for sexual immorality and marries another woman commits adultery the disciples said to him if the relationship of the man with his wife is like this it is better to not marry but he said to them not all men can accept this statement but only those to whom it's been given. For there are eunuchs who were born that way from their mother's womb, and there are eunuchs who were made eunuchs by people. And there are also eunuchs who made themselves eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. The one who is able to accept this, let him accept it. Then some children were brought to him so that he would lay his hands on them and pray. And the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Leave the little children alone and do not forbid them to come to me. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. After laying his hands on them, he departed from there. And someone came to him and said, Teacher, what good thing shall I do that I may obtain eternal life? And he said to them, Why are you asking me about what is good? There's only, there's only one who is good. But if you want to enter life, keep the commandments. Then he said to him, Which ones? And Jesus said, You shall not commit murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. Honor your mother and your father, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. And the young man said to him, All these I have kept. What am I still lacking? Jesus said to him, If you want to be complete, go and sell your possessions and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. When the young man heard this statement, he went away grieving, for he was one who owned much property. And Jesus said to his disciples, Truly I say to you, it will be hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. And again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were very astonished and said, Then who can be saved? And looking to them, Jesus said to them, With people, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. 
Then Peter responded and said to him, Behold, we have left everything and followed you. What then will there be for us? And Jesus said to them, Truly I say to you, that you who will follow me in the regeneration when the Son of Man will sit on his glorious throne, you also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or forms on my account of my name, will receive many times as much, and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. Thank <laughs> you.